Were you born in Bakersfield, sir? No. No, uh, where were you born? Born in, um, uh, Co <laughs> See, I told you he's going to get stressed. It's okay. Drumright, Oklahoma. Drumright? Drum yeah, move your hand. Move your, your hand. hand. Drumright, Oklahoma. Drumright, Oklahoma. The mic's right there by you, so don't be afraid of it. Yeah. Uh, okay, and how old are you, sir? Uh, ninety. 93. 93. Nine, well, almost. 92. 92. That's fine. But he gets that it's fine. He it's fine. Camera. Just relax. We're having a good time. 92. Here. First of all, I just want to say it's an honor to have you here um, in our presence and, and take thank you for oh, taking the time. It's an honor to be here. Thank you for taking the time to do this. So we just want to go over some, you know, that we are Bakersfield Music now. Um, and, and we, we kind of sponsor a lot of local bands, so, you know, it's, we love going out and interviewing people and finding out what's going on, what, but you are an exceptional, mm -hmm. uh, piece of our history here in this town. So, um, what do you do? What's your, what are you, uh, your main instruments? My, uh, occupation? Well, occupation, or, or what do you, what do you play? What's your main? Oh, thing? what do I play? You mean music? Yeah. I play steel guitar and I play um, a rhythm a rhythm guitar and lead guitar. Okay, so mainly guitar. Bass. Bass. You play some bass. Uh, now slide guitar. Do you and do bass. Like, yeah. Kind of. You sit up on top with the steel thing and mm -hmm. you, can you do that too? That's steel guitar. Steel guitar. Do you do that? Oh yeah. Okay. I don't know if that's that's similar to guitar. Uh, when did you start playing? The steel guitar. Well, just music well, in general. Well, music itself. About 1933. Wow. How old were you then? Oh, let's see. I was only nine. Well, ten, right. About ten, I think. About ten years. Well, I can't. My, my math skills are terrible. It's okay. It's okay. It was 14. 14. Okay, it's fine. Well, um, well, that's, that's well I started playing, though, before that. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you pretty much all your life, you've been you've been picking and grinning, then. Yeah. My 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 father didn't want me playing music. Well, why is that? Why is that? No, he didn't like that very he, well. He didn't like music. But then I lost him, and he passed away. That, when when how old were you? When in thirty four. In thirty four. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then. Uh, then I he... I got to working at a theater. By and um, as a janitor. Okay. And I was. Played guitar. I was sitting over there in my uh, yard one time, playing this guitar and, and singing songs, old Jimmy Rogers numbers and stuff like that. And a uh, guy heard me over there at uh, from the uh, the theater. Right. The owner. He said, "Gosh," he said, "You sound pretty good." He says, uh, uh, "We're going to have a uh, contest over here." He says, "Pretty soon, so why don't we get you to come over and?" Do some numbers, you might win some money. Really? Mm-hmm. So you got in a, like a contest, uh, basically got in a contest at your work? No. Yeah, and so anyhow, I was selling popcorn there and uh, also doing janitor work. Right. And so anyhow, uh, he heard me playing, and, and uh, so they had this contest, and, and 
And I went over and I, I, I did my thing and uh, I had a song that I'd written myself and I sang it and uh, I, I won I won the won the contest. <laughs> Wow. And, oh, yeah. That's cool. You know, have you ever heard of Bon Jovi? Famous huh? rock singer? No. No, he's kind of art, more art. Well, he's, he's a few years. He's a Hall of Famer, but his, mm -hmm. he, he actually did the same thing. Got a, got a job in the yeah. studio as a janitor and uh, ended up becoming one of the great rock bands. And uh, yeah, mm -hmm. so it's crazy how sometimes it just happens. You get around something you love and mm -hmm. it just opens up doors. This, so, this part you can cut out. <clears throat> he was only 14 at this time. 14, right, yeah. okay. And uh, he won the contest and he, got, he borrowed an outfit, or the guy gave him an outfit to wear. Mm -hmm. And he won, he got like $250? Yeah, I mean, what'd you get in the contest? That's what she was talking about. Yeah, well, it amounted, the whole thing that I got with uh, a, a radio program in Joplin, Missouri, I, I went up every day up there for a 40-45 minute program. Right. And uh, I come up with $375. Wow, that was a lot of money then. Oh my God, it was. Yeah, 370 back in... Oh, 38, that's like, that's when so, gold and silver actually meant something. And so I, I bought an old car. Yeah. And we fixed it all up and everything. And my, uh, my uh, uncle, he put a, it made it like the little uh, mail delivery truck. Right. Made it just like that. Wow. And uh, we came to uh, California in that. Amazing. And then you've been out here ever since. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. Oh, okay. Well, we got a lot to cover. Yeah. Um, I want to. I want to keep moving along here. Um, we talked beforehand and kind of covered a thing. Just talk to me real quick about one of your most favorite. Uh, your gig, you know, a gig. Like, what was one of your highlight gigs that you look back and go, "Oh my God, what a, what a night that was." What was one of those, and how many people you think were there? Oh, uh, I see. And where was it, I guess, yeah. Um, it was at, at my dance up there in, in, in uh, Visalia. Right. Yeah. I had 4,000 people up there. Holy cow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. was, was that a regular thing? Like. It, like oh, yeah. It, wow. Mm -hmm. 4,000 people on average, huh? And mm -hmm. you were like the the lead band. Your band was like the main attraction mm -hmm. then. Yeah. Wow. Oh, the only one. Okay. Well, being in Bakersfield, of course, you know the names Merle Haggard and Buck Owens come up. How, have you ever uh, either played or shared the stage with Merle <laughs> or Buck? <laughs> yeah, I had a run in with with uh, with Buck. You had there. a run in with Buck. Okay. Well, imagine you know that happens. He came up one time and we were playing and. Um, he came up and um, I asked him, I said, you want to get up and do some numbers? And he says, I ain't got time. He says, I got to go to Fresno. I'm playing at the barn up there. And I said, oh, well, maybe next time. Mm -hmm. So the next time he came by, he got up, he did four or five numbers. Right. And uh, I jumped over on the steel guitar and backed him up and he played my guitar. At Martin there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, we got that out here in a minute. Yeah. And uh, so anyhow, it uh, he he seen he he came back later on then and and he bought the whole place right off of underneath me. He bought your club. Huh? He bought your club. Yeah. He bought the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> and terminated his lease. And terminated your lease. That's, that's right. Oh boy. I lost the whole thing right there. Just oh, like man. That. Well, Buck will be Buck. Well, <laughs> would be Buck, I guess. Yeah. What about Merle Haggard? Do you ever talk to him or you play with him? Or uh, I've talked to Merle Haggard. You talk yeah, to I've him. talked to Merle. And, yeah. And I've sang with him for him. you with shared him. a stage with him, son. Huh? You, have you ever shared the stage with him at the same time or been, you know, had him play with you or... No. 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 Uh -uh. Okay. Well, I just you know, just a local local uh, band guy. You ever played the Crystal Palace? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah. I played the Crystal Palace. That's a, it's a beautiful place. I was uh, mm -hmm. I went there and, and toured it when Buck was still alive actually, and uh, I just was 
over well. Yeah, I've played a lot of times there. Quite yeah, do you like playing there? Huh? Do you enjoy playing at the Crystal Palace? Oh, yeah, I enjoyed it. Yeah? Do I you know uh, Who other uh, local musicians do you, do you know around here? Uh, I'm trying to think, maybe like Monty Byram. Um, Monty plays there occasionally, I think. Leads a band at the Crystal Palace. Have you ever met Monty or played with him? Met him. Yo, have you met Monty? Yeah, he's met him, but he don't remember. Yeah, yeah. Um, I got Bobby some. Durham. Yeah, Bobby Durham. You've played with him. Oh yeah. Okay. We got some names we talked about earlier. Um, you played with Jelly Sanders. Can you oh, talk, yeah. talk about Jelly Sanders? Is that a band? Was it a person? How long ago was that? Well, uh, we started. Uh, that was let's see. About the fifties. No, just a minute. It was. Uh, let me think a minute. <laughs> That's all right. We can kind of never had this problem. Ugh. What club did you play at? Was it the, the one that burned down every time you guys would play somewhere and catch on fire because that guy was scorching them? Well, that's that's the one. I think it was in let's see. Mill was it Mill Grove? <clears throat> the Heidi Hope, Mill Grove, uh Hey, yeah, let's see, Anna. I'm trying to think when that was. <laughs> that was right after I left the Rocky Mountain Barn Dance. Jelly Sanders was that a was that a band that you played with? No, no Jelly Sanders. That was his name. Oh, that was his name. That was the band that the guy that led the band you were in. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I played bass for him. You played bass, Jelly Sanders. Now, yeah, we can go on. It's okay. How about Calum? How about Dad? Then on his program in Porterville, I played steel. Okay. Oh, he had a program, radio program? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dad. Okay. He had a Dad. radio. Dad. Danny wants this. This is going to be cut, but please remove your hand from in front of your face. We can't see oh. you. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, bad. Oh, okay. oh, I see. You should have a cup of coffee or something. <laughs> oh, well, right. while we're on music, um, I want uh, Just Annie, relax. Anna to bring out your uh, your Martin guitar here. This is a, this is quite a masterpiece, and and uh, this is the actual guitar that you played several occasions, I'm sure, and just just. You want to hold it up there and, uh, and maybe 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 talk about it a little bit. That's a what, what, what make? Uh, let's see what what make is that? Um, this is a a D28 Martin. A D28 Martin acoustic mm -hmm. guitar. Mm -hmm. And when did you get that? Well, I uh, bought it in 1943. Holy cow! And yeah, I bought it from a sailor. And uh, he came out to the Rocky Mountain Barn Dance where I was playing and uh, wanted to know if I'd like to buy it because he was going in the service and he didn't want to, you know, take it in the service. And, and so anyhow, I went to my boss, the, the lady, and I told her what, what he wanted. He wanted $130 for it. That was a lot of money then. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I says, if you if you just... Be kind enough to, to pay him. I'll pay you back with interest and everything, you know. So she did because I was playing there, see. Right, right. And so that's that's how I came to get it. So you and, bought that new, well, almost new. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. 1942? 43? 43. And so it's 2011, which makes it, I don't even know, I'm really bad at math, but it's it's pretty old. Uh, and we won't even talk about what it's worth right now, because um, I know it's quite more than a <laughs> hundred and something dollars. But uh, what model number is that again? Forty-four thousand. A mo a forty? No, a Martin. Yeah, but I told him not to say that. No, the model number. The model number. Do you know? D twenty-eight. A D twenty-eight Martin acoustic. Wow. Yeah, D twenty-eight Martin. <whistles> wow, that is something else. And you've you've had that all these years. Have you played? That's been your main guitar in, in most mm -hmm. all your bands and stuff. Wow, that's mm -hmm. something else. Okay. Um, now, uh, if you want to go get that, that's fine. Um, I wanted to talk about some of these other bands. Uh, you used to play with the California Playboys. You said California Playboys. Can you? How long did that go? Well, I think 
47 years. 47 years. Wow. Yep. And Joe Holly and Bob Wills, you mentioned. Well, uh, Joe Holly played with me. Uh, let's see, I think it was about seven years. Seven we years. We played together, yeah. And you mentioned Bob Wills. He's uh, he's the guy on your on your neck thing right there, isn't it? Yeah. Now, who is he? What's his story? Well, well, Bob Wills, my gosh, everybody knew Bob Wills. <laughs> well, now you got to remember, you're talking to a Bakersfield Music Now crowd of people that are probably uh, 40 years young and younger. So a lot of these names, they're like, well, who, you know, they've heard of Buck and Merle, but a lot of these other guys. So um, yeah. Bob Mills, Wills was a, was a pretty famous guitar singer, player guy. He was a fiddle player. Fiddle player. Mm-hmm. So he was in your band, the California Playboys. No, he he wasn't. He wasn't in your band. He wasn't. That that was my own my own uh, deal, the California Playboys. Oh, okay. Jeff. And he doesn't know anything about Bob Wills, so why don't you just tell that's him okay. about? Okay. Yeah. I'm getting, no, you can cut this. Right, right. Yeah. yeah just tell, just him tell me a little bit about Bob. Bob. Like like if I never heard of Bob Wills at all, what 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 was his claim to fame? Can I find him on the internet? You know, what did he do? Well, he he was a, he's the one that uh, that I grew up with there. His music, right? Uh, he came to Pitcher, Oklahoma, in nineteen. Uh, let's see. Thirty-four, thirty-six. Hmm. 1934, 36? No, it was... When uh, you were at that theater? Uh, it was 30, 34. Okay. Yeah, 34. Wow. And um, he uh, set up... They had four streetcars pulled up. And and then they had the dance floor in the, in the middle. Right. And there's four of the streetcars pulled up. And that was... Uh, Right across the creek from me, just just a block, mm -hmm. and uh, my bedroom window was there, and I heard them play the first time when they came there in 1934. So he was a big influence on you. Oh my God, yeah. Wow. I, 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 <laughs> I fell in love with his music right then and there, you wow. know. Wow, Bob Mills. Oh. Well, everybody look up Bob, Bob Wills. For yep. sure, because that sounds like some. Oh yeah. History. Now you also mentioned the Blackboard Cafe. You you said you played. That was a pretty famous place in Bakersfield back in the 30s, yeah. 40s, wasn't it? Where was that located at? Just roundabout. And that's uh. See, I can't think of that number. Was it was it East Bakersfield? Uh, was it was it? It's in East Baker's. It's on Chester now. Chester Avenue? Was, Chester Avenue. Is the building still there? Or is it, no. No, a long time ago, huh? No, the, the site's still there. The site's still there. Mm hmm Wow. That's pretty cool. The Blackboard Cafe. I've heard the name mentioned. Mm hmm um, Yeah. And you uh, you play, currently, you are, uh, you're playing uh, at the... Uh, Bob Manning and I were playing there, and and Larry Hornbeck, he played accordion. Okay. And uh, we played there uh, on uh, one night a week, sometimes two. Yeah. But then, then we had uh, Pumpkin Center. We did did the following uh, day or two from then, and then out at, out at uh, Rainbow Gardens. Rainbow yeah. Gardens. Yeah, Rainbow Gardens. Wow. Mm -hmm. Pumpkin Center used to have live music, huh? That's like a little, like outhouse town now. I mean, you just drive right through it. There's not much mm -hmm. there. So I tell you, I've got I've got all this information down in my in my history book. Oh really? You got oh well, that's good to know. So if yeah, someone so wants to really dig in and contact so you about that. If you want to, if you want to, if you want to know about that, come over and uh, sure we'll go through it and I'll show you a lot of the stuff in there. It's in there. It's, we, we recorded it and got pictures and all kinds of oh, stuff. Oh, wow. That's, yeah, that's cool. We might make a special trek up just for that, get some of that mm -hmm. Bakersfield history. 
So where are you? Uh, where are you currently playing? You're still. I know we've talked before. You were going down to L.A. for a parade, and then you play at Trout's. Um, can you talk a little bit about where you're at right now? I'm in in recording stations, you know, as you know. Okay. And uh, I play the down to black. I mean, trouts. Trouts down there. Right. How often do you play trouts? What three, three, three or four nights a week. Wow, that often. Okay. Mm-hmm. And Red Simpson, we brought his name came up. He was a writer for Buck Owens, I think. And yeah. A lot of people don't know that. And Merle, I guess you well, know I'll a lot play, of. Well, I play. I play out there at um, what's that place? Rasmussen. <laughs> yeah. Ras Rasmussen. 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 Yeah. Well, where's that at? It's on Northchester, uh, between Manor. Uh, no, it's on Air Roberts Lane between Manor and, and Roberts Lane. Yeah, between Chester and Manor on Roberts Lane. Chester and Manor on Roberts Lane. Yeah. Rasmussen. I don't uh -huh. know if I've ever... Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a senior center. Yeah. Okay, that's mm -hmm. why. I play there every Monday. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. the, the people there literally enjoy that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh cool. How neat. And they play some Bobby Durham some Wednesdays at Crystal Palace. Bobby Durham, we mentioned. Uh, you said... Yeah, I play with him. Bobby Durham at the Palace sometimes. Do you sit in with him now? You just play guitar with him? Sing. Sing? No, I just sing, yeah. Okay, okay. Now, uh, if someone wanted to get some of your music right now, um, where, how, how would they go about finding, I, I, I don't know if you're online or if you have, a, you know, pretty much everything's internet nowadays, so um, do you, are you coming, do you have anything online now or do you have anything coming oh, up? Oh, yeah. Soon? He's got YouTube videos. Anna's got, she's got that. If you... <clears throat> he has YouTube videos. You have YouTube videos? Oh, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. With, uh, Crystal Palace and with Homer Joy. Okay. And who wrote the Streets of Bakersfield? Homer Joy wrote the Streets of Bakersfield. Yeah. Oh wow, I didn't mm -hmm. know that. I thought uh, Dwight and Buck wrote oh, that. No, no, no. Homer Joy, Homer Joy wrote that. Streets mm -hmm. of Bakersfield. Well, there's some. That's really neat in history right there. Um, <coughs> let's see what else we got here. Oh, you said you're working on a CD. How soon do you think that'll be done? And and. Where will be uh, where will people be able to, to get a copy of that? Well, let's see. How how long do you think you got until the you know you got all your your songs done? Maybe a couple more months yeah. or yeah yeah a couple more months yeah, probably. And this is all original material. Yeah. You're, that you wrote yourself. Huh? Did you write all the material yourself? Oh, yeah. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Now, you're talking lyrics and everything. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, how, uh, what what would you relate the sound to of, of your material? Does it sound like kind of uh, Buck, or does it sound like Clint Black, or does it sound like old school country? or Old school western swing. Well... No, I, uh, I, I, do, I do western swing. Western swing. Yeah. Okay. That's by and Bob Wells. The king of Western he, we, Yeah, she, Anna's here just for the people out there in the audience. Is her. And Lloyd's daughter, Anna's here, right? <laughs> She's yeah. like, no, I don't want to be on the camera. She's here helping me out because there's so many details. And so if you hear me talking off the side here, it's yeah. okay. She's all embarrassed. You're not even yeah. on camera. <laughs> <laughs> we can cut it up. And she's all cut, cut, cut. Okay. So... Uh, it's it's Bob Will style uh, country swing. I, I think that's yeah okay. And how many people are in your your band currently that are actually recording on that? Oh, do you have a lot of a lot of guest artists coming in, or is it just you and three or four other guys? Or I think about six guys. Six guys mm -hmm. total. Okay, so you got what? Bass, drums, guitar. Uh, steel fiddle. guitar, mm -hmm. fiddle. fiddle, and maybe like keyboards or, mm -hmm. and vocals, of course. Now, are you doing all the vocals on it? Yeah. So you're the lead vocalist, main main lead vocalist. Huh? Are you the main lead vocalist? Yes. On all the stuff. Okay. Okay. Now the only Great. cut this, but the only <clears> song <throat> that he didn't write is so Trigger, she... and Red Simpson wrote Trigger. Trigger. And Hannah saying that intro. For Dad. Yeah, I did trigger with for Red Simpson. Oh, okay. 
So that's something you didn't write, but it's going to be on the album. No. Uh -uh. Right, right. Okay. Is Red Simpson playing on this too? Is he is he playing on this CD no. with you? No. Okay. Oh, okay. No. Great. He has an intro. In, okay. All right. And that's going to be done in a couple three months. And uh, for all you people out there, if you want to know more, see some videos. We can go to uh, I guess if they look up Lloyd Reading on YouTube, go to YouTube.com and then type in uh, Lloyd L L O Y D mm -hmm. Reading, and just like it's spelled R E A D I N G Reading. And you can find some amazing footage of, of live footage and um, him playing and so forth. So um, I think we covered most everything we talked about. I mean, I'm sure we could go spend another couple of hours just telling stories. And <laughs> but unfortunately, we have to think about video time and keeping people's attention and cramming all these details in there. So mm -hmm. um, really appreciate you coming out and being a part of Bakersfield Music Now and we'll have this hopefully edited and put mm -hmm. up there very soon and uh, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll hopefully catch up maybe when the album's done we'll have you back in for a little uh, follow up and uh -huh. uh, if we get a copy we can do uh, maybe put it in the background of the video have some of your stuff right. that would be awesome and then um, we're also going to be working on Bakersfield Music Now Collection 3 over the next year so if you get one done you could submit it it could actually be on our compilation mm -hmm. that would be an honor to have that so thank you for coming out mm -hmm. and um, we'll, we'll talk to you soon and wave bye to everybody wave there you go <laughs> <laughs> oh boy he if Benny was here I could do it <laughs> Again, my tears have gone for